Today we're tackling a mystery that stumped explorers for centuries, the true source of the Amazon River. Picture a river so massive it dumps more water into the ocean than the next seven largest rivers combined. That's our Amazon, a liquid behemoth carving its way through South America. But we're still debating where it all begins. Why finding the source matters. Now, you might wonder, what's the big deal about a river's starting point? Well, it's not just about bragging rights or winning geographic trivia nights. Understanding a river source helps us grasp its entire ecosystem, from icy mountain peaks to steamy jungle lowlands. It's crucial for conservation, water management, and even predicting how climate change might affect the region. The Contenders, Three Rivers Vying for the Crown 1. The Marañón River This was the original source, identified back in 1707 by a Jesuit priest named Samuel Fritz. He traced it to Lake Loricoca High in the Andes. For two centuries, everyone thought the case was closed. But then... 2. The Upper Rimac River In the 1930s, attention shifted here. Explorers started scaling peaks, hunting for the highest, most distant trickle of water they could find. One expedition even brought along an Olympic kayaker to paddle the uppermost reaches. 3. The Mantaro River Identified in 2014, this might be the longest of the three. But there's a catch, it dries up for part of the year. Is an intermittent stream still a valid source? Defining a river source So, how do we decide? Well, there are a few ways to define a river source, highest point, the spring at the highest elevation. Most distant point, the farthest trickle that eventually reaches the main river. Largest contributor, the tributary that provides the most water. Year-round flow, the farthest point with constant water flow. Depending on which definition you choose, you get a different winner. It's like a geographic choose-your-own-adventure. Epic Expeditions, The Search for the Source Let's zoom in on some of the wild quests to solve this puzzle, Cousteau's Amazonian Adventure, 1982. Jacques Cousteau Yep, the famous ocean explorer, led a massive expedition. They used cutting-edge satellite tech, planes, and even a specialized off-road vehicle to scour the Andes. They zeroed in on Mount Mismi and found a tiny stream in a mountain crevice. Talk about dedication! National Geographic's Lake Mixup A Nat Geo team claimed a small lake on Mismi's northern slope as the source. They named it Lake McIntyre, but get this, it ended up on some maps under the wrong name. Oops. Always double-check your labels, folks. The Spring Challenger, 1996 Another team said, nope, it's actually this spring over here. They argued their stream was longer and larger than the previous contender. The debate heated up. Checkmates and River Rates, 2000 A Czech team spent years studying the area. They identified four streams forming the Locator River and declared the Karwasanta River the true source. They even set up weather stations to keep tabs on it. Now that's what I call thorough. Mantaro makes its move, 2014. Researchers said, hold up, everyone, it's actually the Mantaro River. They found a spring even farther away than all the others. The catch? It dries up part of the year. Should seasonal flow matter in our definition? This isn't just about drawing lines on a map. The Amazon source debate touches on bigger themes, 1. Interconnectedness, the Amazon isn't just one river, but a vast network of waterways. Each tributary plays a role in creating the mighty river we know. 2. Exploration in the modern age, even with satellites and GPS, there's still room for good old-fashioned boots-on-the-ground exploration. 3. Defining natural features, how do we categorize and define nature when it doesn't always fit into neat boxes? 4. Climate change impact, glaciers that once fed these streams are disappearing. The true source might be changing before our eyes. 5. Cultural significance, for local communities, these rivers aren't just geography, their lifeblood, history, and spirituality rolled into one. So, what can we learn from this centuries-long debate? 1. Nature defies simple answers, the natural world is complex, interconnected, and sometimes resistant to our need for clear-cut definitions. 
2. Exploration isn't over, there's still plenty to discover and debate, even about features as major as the Amazon. 3. Definitions matter, how we define things shapes our understanding and actions. It's not just semantic nitpicking. 4. Teamwork makes the dream work, from Jesuit priests to modern scientists, it's taken a global effort to understand the Amazon. 5. Respect the complexity, sometimes, embracing the complexity of a question is more valuable than forcing a simple answer. So, next time someone asks you where the Amazon comes from, you can wow them with your knowledge. Tell them it's not just one source, but a network of high-altitude streams, each claiming a piece of the title. So, what do you think? Which definition of source makes the most sense to you? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.